Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this automatic egg incubator with an automatic egg turning and humidity control. Alright so today we received our incubator. This one here holds up to 36 eggs so the egg incubator also is equipped with an automatic egg turning functions which it can automatically turn the eggs every 90 minutes the incubator is equipped with an egg candler so you can candle your eggs while they are cooking so first off you can see there's styrofoam it is recommended to keep the styrofoam so if you're in colder areas it can help hold in the temperature and right here at the top it's got your temperature setting your humidity your candling so we're going to open up the styrofoam and inside you'll get everything that you need to set this up so one thing about this is i like they do have the valves in the front so you can release the extra humidity which is right here so you can turn it left or right but the hole is at the bottom so it opens it up and when you turn it all the way around it is completely locked so it will save the humidity inside this incubator but if you want to remove the excess you can go ahead and turn it till it's open this does have an automatic water feeder so that gets plugged into the back of the incubator and you also put it in a cup so in this little bag they do have the rollers because this is an automatic turner so which turns your eggs every 90 minutes and it is a dual power so not only can you use a 110 volt power supply you can also use a 12 volt battery supply and then you get the instructions manual and then you have your power cord here you get the food and water for the chicks once they have hatched so that is also included which is a nice thing so if you don't have any bowls or anything to feed and water your brand new hatched chicks this does come equipped with it so you have your dual power here you get an extra water bottle so you want to spray them when it gets time for them to pip and the bottom of the tray right here is where your automatic water goes into so once you put this together this is the pump this will suck the water from a bottle you have an in and you have an out out, so you want to put the one that goes from the water bottle into the in and the out that goes into the incubator so whenever it's low it automatically pushes in it is connected by a type C that gets connected to the back of the power port in the incubator so this is where the water comes through I actually put it right in the middle that way when they do hatch they cannot kind of drown in so then you'll put this mesh down and then you'll put the rollers on top so about three days before they're hatching so lockdown you want to make sure you put this down and remove the rollers so this helps them hatch this gets connected to the top of the incubator that is the rollers to roll these right here so you have all these set and they're automatically so once you connect that wire to the top of the incubator they should automatically roll every 90 minutes that is where they do have the automatic rollers so the product dimensions is 17.5 by 17 wide by 9.5 inches high so you have all your settings here at the top you also have the candler so you can candle your eggs right here you've got your set your plus your minus your egg and then you also got your candler so if you want to um, roll them yourself you can push the egg roller button right here so it'll roll it and then on the back you have two methods of charging it you can use the power cord or you can also use a dc which is a 12 volt battery so right here this is where the water connects to so it goes in from the water cup and out to the incubator so you can just use a regular water and it gets connected right here where you see the little water droplets the power cord gets connected to there so right here it automatically sets your temperature so you put the set so I'm gonna do chicken so this is gonna be set to 100.3 in my humidity I like it about 58 59 and then you just go through these settings you can set the hatching time um, the high noise for the temperature the high or the low these are alarm settings there's a lot of settings in here by pushing the set button this is all explained in the user manual but it is super easy and you don't have to worry about the water because the automatic water feeder will feed into there I noticed sometimes I had added extra because it didn't put any water in and if it did it did slowly so I added a little bit which is a good thing because you do get a water bottle with it so it automatically puts water in there and this hole is to remove the excess 
humidity and if you don't need to remove the excess humidity you can turn it off they've got the candler right here up at the top and you can just push the button and it'll automatically candle your egg you can see it's got a lot of distance from the top of the incubator to the bottom and when about three days before hatching you will move these rollers and your baby chicks will sit right here on this little net the only issues that I had is on the side is if your chick goes on that side and you put too much water they can kind of get hurt on that but I haven't experienced that yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. So the water is already connected. It goes into that power cord all the way into the back of this pump. And the pump goes from the water bottle into the pump and then on the out button, it goes back into the incubator. So this was what feeds it. And this is a super nice incubator. So right now I've just barely started turning it on. So I'm gonna wait for it to heat up. Also the humidity, make sure that you have it closed and tight. This is a really nice incubator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of my chicken eggs and I'm gonna add them into this incubator. And I'm gonna mark them so you can see them automatically turn. So now that we have all my eggs inside this incubator, I did push X's on it. So you can see when I push the turn button, they will automatically turn. It does it every 90 minutes. So it makes sure that they are rotated in a timely manner. So right now you can see that they are turning. So you can see the X's, some of the X's are up, some of them are down. So this incubator holds up to 36 eggs. I was actually able to add more eggs because I do have bantam chicken eggs. You can see there's a few small ones in here. So I was able to add at least four more extra ones in here. So right now it's rotating them. There's a button you can automatically push rotate if you don't wanna wait every 90 minutes. So the front one right here is a little bantam. I like the fact that it does the auto rotate and it automatically feeds water into your so it keeps the humidity nice and warm. If you're looking for a nice incubator to incubate any kind of eggs, I would highly recommend checking this one out.